Hello everybody! Welcome back to more RPG Maker MC tutorials. In this lesson, we will go over how to upgrade your icon set to make it look beautiful. Of course, your icon set is dependent on what style your game is going for. First, let's open up our good old classic image editor. Here we go! As you can see, I have changed the icon set from this. I mean, it looks fine if you want to use that. I'm chill with whatever you want. You could use these if you want. But I like to make things a little fancier. Look at all these cool look at all these cool icons. I made all these cool hexagons. Oh yeah. To make sure we get to this where we're going, we need to go over an icon itself. An icon is stored as a 32 by 32 pixel square. You can actually change this to any shit. You can actually change the 32 pixels. But you could actually just keep this canvas that is a 32 by 32. You can do whatever you want with it. Like, you can make different shapes in it. You could try circles, triangles, squares, maybe hexagons if you want. It's your choice, and it's your call. And I decided to make them various... And I decided to leave the, uh, the green ones, the orange ones, and the purple ones as is, along with adding one additional weapon icon and leaving the, eye, the armor icons as is. I also decided to change change these icons right here, these ones, and I decided to change it to these crystal looking ones. I'll tell you why in a later episode. Anyway, see these icons that are these stat things? The third and fourth rows are for buffs and debuffs respectively. The first eight are for stage one. The second stage, the second stage are the other eight. This is because in RPG Maker, Debuffs and buffs both stack up to twice. Well, I'll, sh I'll show you this when we get into a combat episode. Anyway, let's save this image. Remember, it's save. It's save as a PNG. And we're going to replace our previous icon set. Oh, wait. oh whoops, I'm in my USB drive for a backup of this game. Anyway, we're going to go to image, system. And then we're going to click our icon set. You have to keep this named icon set, otherwise it will have trouble reading the icon set and it will cause a null pointer exception. Let's save it. And we're going to replace it. And it's saved. Now let's see this in action. Hmm, what should I do? Oh, I know, that's easy. Let's make an item for it. Hmm. You can actually, let's just name an item whenever we want. See how these new icon sets work? Now we can use all these. Ah, uh, look at all these cool icon sets that I made. A little time goes a long way, and I spent way too long in between episodes making this. Let's choose this. Hmm, it appears that I have... Let me just... There we go. Let's make sure we don't use it. And it's a... And it's a crafting material. That's it. Let's see. Oh, we can actually do this on skills as well. Let's make let's make a cool healing. Let's make a let's make a skill that will make it a basic in a later episode. And we're gonna use the heart icon I made. Oh, 
I'll go into the actual basics of, the, of actually making a skill in a later episode. Stay tuned for that. But for now, we're going to hit OK and save our icons. That's all we need to know about making an icon, but before we sign off, I would like to thank all of you guys for helping me get this far. This is my 17th episode, and I'm excited for episode 20. This is, this is RPG Maker MZ Tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time.